Well, good morning, you guys, or whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. And I see we've already got uh, people showing up from Greece, Portugal, India, a bunch from India. I love it. Romania, Phoenix, Withrop, Washington, Seattle. Okay, another person from the Seattle area. That's so awesome, you guys. I really love having you guys join me every day for these live broadcasts. It's been pretty fantastic. Okay, you know, remember those things that I kind of, you know, I've given you advice on just to kind of reiterate it. This is really important. This is to help keep your head straight during this difficult time. Number one, get out and do walks. Take walks if you can. Some people in parts of the world you can't, but, you know, for most of us like me, I get out every day with my dog. She doesn't have to socially distance from me, which is awesome, but... <laughs> You can stay away from other people far enough, but you can see trees and rocks and things and put your attention out there. Get off your computer, get off your phone. Just look at the world around you. That's super important. The other thing I recommend is keeping a journal. Keep your thoughts in there, keep your challenges, keep your goals. I'll give a specific show on some things you can do with your journal, but it's really super helpful. And then the third thing is do something that keeps you inspired and that is super easy you just keep showing up for my shows these are inspirational watch my video Jared will put it in the link here if you've seen it before it's only 60 seconds it's very inspirational you know I here's a here's if you guys have been following me you know I interviewed Chris Burkhardt I'm going to talk about him a little bit later he's got 3.5 million followers on Instagram incredible photographer. I sent him the video last night and he said, I have that quote in a frame beside my bed. And he shared it with his audience. So, hey, that's pretty cool. All right, now, here's what we're gonna be doing today. This is because we are in a special environment. We as photographers and creatives are facing challenges that we've never had to face. All of us on planet Earth have never had to face this before. So we're doing a special show, how to use social media to thrive as a creative despite the tough environment. And I am going to, sorry there, I, here we go. I'm going to introduce you to our guest, Manuel Suarez. He's an international speaker who's delivered seminars to thousands of entrepreneurs around the world on the subject of digital marketing. A lot of you guys are entrepreneurs. We're talking to you, okay? He's certified as a Facebook professional and is the host of the Facebook Marketing Ninja podcast. Now listen to this, you guys. His strategies have helped generate over half a billion views. You know, that's half a billion views. Think about that. That's a lot of people watching. That's a lot of people getting information. Millions of subscribers and 100, over $150 million in revenue across all channels. And he's now showing the world how he's doing it. He's going to show us how to do it. Please give him a huge AYP. Welcome. Manuel, awesome to have you on the show. And all right. So great, great to have you with us. Great. Yeah, and can you hear me well? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Okay, super great to be here, Mark, and it's a pleasure to have an opportunity to help your audience. I believe your audience uh, uh, is, uh, is a very important audience to the world, um, artists, photographers, I mean, aesthetics, right? Uh, it's exactly. such, a, such a vital component to the world that we live in, that's for sure. Yeah, and you know, because this is becoming an issue and it's already been brought up in comments, people are saying, what am I going to do? You know, I know photographers who say, you know, my whole lineup just disappeared. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is April, May, June, you know, wedding photographers, June weddings have been canceled. It's not a really good picture. So rather mm. than just talk around the subject, I wanted to, you know, bring you on, like, how can we energize ourselves what can we do to be proactive about this and i guess that's really we might as well just jump in what do we need to do 
to overcome the inertia, we've come to a stop. And to get it, you know, the laws of motion, if something comes to a stop, you have to apply energy to it to get it moving again, right? What do we have to do right. to energize right. things? Yeah, uh, Mark, great question, very important. Uh, I understand that the, the world came to a halt, and that includes, uh, obviously, um, artists that, that perform for a living. It's a, it's a very big deal and how this has influenced many, many niche uh, niches around the world, in, including that very important niche market. So um, there are some very, very good news. Uh, uh, the way that I look at it, Mark, is that I like people to, uh, I'm, a negative, I, I, I'm an optimist type of type of personality right Me and too. i think that when you're an optimist you can you can probably accomplish a lot more just being an optimist individual it's incredible how underrated um the, the mindset of an individual is overall uh it determines whether you succeed or whether you succumb it's it's that's just the way it is like I success agree. lies at at the at, at the bottom of success at the beginning of it the basic building block is mindset and and uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to eliminate the COVID-19 from the world? Uh, no, we don't have that ability. We don't have that, uh, the power individually to be able to make this disappear. Are we going to ignore it, pretend that it doesn't exist? Uh, we, we shouldn't even do that ourselves. That's another factor. I say that we look at the silver lining and what can we do? And there are many silver linings. And I can tell you, Mark, that uh, I know that you did did a, a small little intro about me. I appreciate that very much. Um, I can tell you that I have been incredibly energized with this, with this very difficult environment. Um, for some very strange reason, reason uh, challenges like this uh, just motivate me. It really motivate me, and it has woken up this in very intense desire to help people uh, more than ever. And um, because I believe that the, the the leaders of the world right now can de can determine. The present and the future and what's going to happen with this world uh if the leaders do not step up if the people that have an influence over the world are all doom and gloom and we all listen to the media out there then we're not going to get out of it there is a lot of silver linings here mark mark and for all of you guys that are listening i have some people people here on my phone that i think are jumping into uh your youtube now Great. uh anybody that's on your audience we we have a lot of silver linings and let me start with First one, right? A uh, very, very uh, practical and and, and logistic uh, things that that are real. I'm not talking about a motivational uh, point here. It's not about hey, you think bright and bright and the world's gonna be great. Uh, right now, for example, uh, I have been diving into the government relief program for the last several weeks. Yeah, two trillion dollars. We're all trillion dollars, right? And and all of you guys, whether you're a photographer whether you're self-employed, whether you have a small team of people, whether you have, whatever it is, you qualify for some sort of relief. How incredible is that? Now, entrepreneurs, business owners, people that are like, uh, uh, that we are, like we're in it for blood, we like to control our own destiny. We are not generally excited about the government. We are excited about that. Uh, we have a, uh, a paycheck from, for, from the government about food stamps is something that I personally I've always been proud that I don't need a handout from the government I just don't but right now we have the opportunity to get that handout because let me tell you something if you don't, you don't get it somebody else will that it's is right it's gonna be given out and that's just the way it is so they, they, they have launched they have a, a program I am not a financial advisor I am not a CPA Please do not take my advice. Um, that's not the idea. Um, I have been getting myself informed as an entrepreneur because there has been a halt. So if you had, had, for example, wedding events and they have all been canceled, which is true. I don't know who the heck is running weddings at this point in the world. I think I saw I saw an article the other day about a country uh, that uh, decided to leave everything open I, I forgot about what country it is but they're running their own test and they say you know what uh we're gonna find out if it's true that that they're doing the right thing around the world and they just left the world open so they're gonna find out if they're gonna it's gonna spread or if it's like just fear that's spreading more spreading more than the virus uh whatever the point is that right now events around the world have been canceled for a while they will be canceled for the next month or two 
who knows who knows how so if you're an entrepreneur if you're a, photog- you're a photographer uh, weddings, um, concerts, uh, you used to like get gigs here and there. Well, you have lost a source of income. So you qualify for relief. And let yeah. me tell you what the exciting thing about the relief is. Now, and that's if, we, if you're in the, U- in the USA, right? Like I, I get questions from people like, do we qualify from, uh, I, I live in Pakistan, do I qualify? No, this is a US relief program, all right? All right. That's, it's a, it's, it's CARES Act. Yes. So I've been talking about that for the last couple of weeks and I have a lot, a lot of podcasts in which I've been covering the subject and I even brought in some experts to talk about the subject. But there are many programs that you as a photographer will, will absolutely qualify for. Uh, for example, there's one called uh, the EIDL, which is the Emergency Disaster Relief Loan or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you get a $10,000 grant, uh, which is uh, you go to SBA.gov and, and then you so, – to submit a couple of questions and then you get a get a ten thousand dollar grant and that's fantastic because that, what it does is this it buys you the most important asset that we all have you know what that asset is mark i have a pretty good idea but i'm gonna let you tell us let me tell you, I'll tell you what my thought is, right my thought is and that i believe is senior to everything else and that's time it buys you time yeah. right and what you can do with time is go in to the, rest of the formula, and right now the rest of the formula is number one, audience building. This is not a this is not an era for you to be selling gigs right now. I'm sorry, bad, bad news, right? Nobody's going to be uh, booking you yeah. for the next couple of months, not because they shouldn't, because the media is feeding them a lot of terrifying news, and everybody is scared, and there are restrictions, and there's government rules and laws and, laws and quarantines put in place and i mean in puerto rico they can catch on on the streets after a certain rest. you get tickets and things like that so it's it's a reality of what's happening today in this world and it's quite inevitable that it will continue being so so i would tell you that you need to focus on a three step formula three steps and i have a, a bunch of much inf- uh, more information on that and then i can answer any questions questions that the yeah. audience is uh, is bringing in um, but but I can tell you number one figure out which program you qualify for that could be something called the EIDL it could be something called the paycheck protection program which the paycheck protection program is program is something that you, if you have a payroll which is generally has to be more than forty eight thousand dollars a year in payroll payroll whether you pay you pay yourself or you, your employees, you need to have payroll. If you don't have payroll, you don't qualify for this. You need to be paying payroll taxes in 2019. They look at the 2019 year, the last 12 months, and they're going to pay you two and a half, two and a half months. Of, like, let's say, for example, that you do $300,000 in payroll a year. You're going you're gonna to end up with a $62,000 paycheck, something like that, right? That they're going to give you. Here you go, right? Here's a loan, loan. And if you um, use that money eight weeks after, you you get that money, that money from the government, which is going to be given to you by, by your local bank, or as well as fire. fire. If you use that money to to pay payroll, to pay um, mortgage or rent or utilities, that loan could be a hundred percent forgiven, a hundred percent forgiven. So it ends up being a grant, non-taxable. They don't even count it towards your income it here you go right so number one figure out, po- figure out and it's, which it's possible that for. some similar programs exist in other countries because we do have people from all over the world so you guys should check in your own country if there are similar programs that exist as well that's really important yeah the, mark do you have people from europe we do for example we have well, well, there's there's we, a i i think there's a, a huge united kingdom um a fund that they just announced. I, I don't. That's not my market, but uh, I believe that they launched uh, a three hundred billion dollar dollar or so, something pretty big too. Wow. Something pretty big. So there are programs that the government is rolling out to help you wherever you are at. I got familiar with the one that I can take advantage of, which is the U.S. program. Uh, particularly in my case, I have sixty staff. Mark, uh, you've actually met a few of them. Yeah. And some of these guys are rock stars i paid them a lot of money and uh, right now i don't have the new clientele coming in like i used to uh, i'm still doing great i haven't you know we have a 
I can tell you, Mark, uh, that uh, U.S. has obviously been breaking records on um, on layoffs, right, and unemployment. It's yeah. incredible. Like we had uh, the the highest ever before COVID nineteen was six hundred thousand people laid off in a week, and that goes back to somewhere on the nineteen thirties. Something dramatic, like a lot yes. of people. It was like devastating economy. Um, we had a week with two million people. And that was like, wow. Um, and the, the five, 6.2 million people, people found employment. So we have a huge amount of people in the world that are being uh, laid off. Uh, in the U.S. particularly, Italy, it's gone off the rails, which makes sense. I mean, these businesses, they cannot operate. They cannot sustain payroll. Uh, off you go, right? So, it's, so it, any of you guys that have a job still, if you have a job, um, you can – be grateful for that job. That's what I would say in the U.S. Because uh, I'm doing a good job myself. I had 60 staff. I have laid off a total of three staff. All right, a total of three staff out of 60. And these three people that I have laid off, it's because they weren't essential right now. They had talent and they had potential, but it didn't feel that they were going to be able to help me keep the engine running at this point. So other than that, I've been keeping people on the payroll. Uh, right now that we have this new government program, it's just even motivation to uh, keep them on board and, and just get ready for a comeback. Because that's one thing that I would t tell you guys, like everybody that's listening in, you got to get ready for the comeback because that's the comeback right. is on its way. It's happening. All right. Is it going to happen in a month or two? I know the stock market has been comebacking for the last week already. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, it, for sure. It went from eight, 18,900 to like 23,000 in a matter of like a week. Yep. Big, big bounce. So there are signs of the economy already like snapping out of the huge doom and gloom world that we are living on right now, even though there's a lot of lockdowns right now. So you got to be prepared, right? So step one, figure out how you can get some relief to cover for the expenses that you, uh, are, that you still have right now and to make up for the lost income that you inevitably have had due to event cancellation, not getting new bookings, and all that that stuff that all artists and musicians, and you guys are not the only ones, my God. Yeah. Artists, musicians, it's like it has devastated the artist industry in a big yeah. way. But there's some good news on that, Mark. Absolutely good news um, that we can get some relief and then get, get into the next stage of um, how do you prepare yourself for a comeback, right? Exactly. And I can tell you what the two steps are for that comeback. That's what um, we want to hear. And um, if you want me, to, I can. Back. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a, this is an era. Obviously, uh, uh, you guys, if you follow me, you know that you know what my expertise is. If uh, if you are um, on Mark's world and you've been learning about photography and uh, being a great artists on your end, then you might not have heard about me before that's totally fine I'm, I, I'm barely like just getting started on my end but I can tell you that um, I have been obsessed with the online opportunity way before COVID-19 way before I have been helping people and myself penetrate audiences and millions of people actually billions of video watchers uh, at, at this point uh, as of right now I have been responsible for the marketing for people like Dr. Eric Burke who's one of the keto kings my father who's like at the top of the uh, health uh, and fitness food chain in the subject of uh, metabolism in Latin America. Um, people like Chick Corea, the incredible musician who's a legend with 23 Grammys. Uh, by the way, he's done 22 straight. Uh, have you seen that, Mark? He's, Chick Corea has done 22 straight Facebook lives. He is on fire. I have not, on but fire. he is amazing. I mean, he's a phenomenon. Right. So I have been helping him as an artist. Uh, penetrate the, the world so we can be, be ready for a comeback because this is what happens. If you penetrate the world right now, and I highly recommend that you check out Chick Corea so you can see what he's doing. Highly recommend If you go to facebook.com forward slash Chick Corea, it's C-H-I-C-K-C-O-R-E-A. He's one of the, uh, the artists with most Grammys in the world. Number six, he has more than Beyonce. He has 23 Grammys. He's a jazz player. He's incredible. He's an yes. absolute incredible artist right it's like a legend he's 80 years old right he's an absolute legend and somebody somebody that i have the uh, privilege of working with 
We got him. COVID-19 was an opportunity to get him on social media, right, in a big way. He's been on social media for a while, but he hasn't been on social media really for a while. You know, it's like you're you're in it, but you're not really in it. Yeah. So 22 days ago, he's like, you know what? Okay, I'm ready, Manny. Let's go. He calls me Manny. Let's go. Let's do it. So we started getting him in on a Facebook Live on his phone, just like I'm doing right here with my phone here with some people that are here. And uh, he started doing Facebook Lives just uh, on a little studio that he has with his piano and just playing. And this thing started going viral, all right? Millions of views, explosion, people sharing it. And he's been getting reach from all over these organizations all over the place. It, it woke him up and he understood the potential of these platforms, which is my number one obsession, Mark. My number one goal is to help people understand how these platforms work and how powerful they are to help you spread your message. How I like to let, let people know, look, in this COVID-19 world, just let this sink in for a second. Just think about this for a second. Just take a moment and analyze this. Try to go back to 1990. It depends on your age, if you can go that far back, right? But I know I can. Easy for me. Uh, I, easy for you, right, Mark? No, but you're, <laughs> what, what are you, 40 now? Yeah, right. about 39. Somewhere, 45, 39, yeah. okay. That, I'm actually, 39. So uh, in 1990, I was nine years old, right? Same I think age. Mark was about 10, 12. Yeah. yeah, 10 or 12, something like that. Um, I have a lot of white hair too. Just, uh -huh. you know, like, that's cool. You know, that's a cool look, yeah. by the way. You're doing it just to look, <laughs> so, you know, to, to, yeah. to just be part of the club, you know? We, we, the, yeah. I actually dye this. It's not normally white. I have to dye it that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, so I'm going to tell my, my people on Facebook that are here, guys, if you want to jump into the YouTube live that I'm on right now, uh, you can go and jump in. The link is in the comments. Uh, uh, you're going to have the experience of having Mark asking me questions and we are live together, right? Otherwise, you're going to just hear me out. And I know I can actually get boring. You've probably been seeing me for a while already. So if you want to have that experience, you can jump over there and just click on that link to join uh, the YouTube live over there. Thank you Man, for joining. Let me, let me ask so you let's one go back. thing, just, yeah, just from a, te a technical mm -hmm. point. We're getting a little bit of the, the Skype going in and out. I don't know. Are you on a Wi-Fi right where you are? Like right there, it just went out. Um, if you... Ben, right now yeah, here. Yeah, it's kind of going in and out. Is it possible to move inside where you're closer to your Wi-Fi? Um, I, mean, I, can, can, I can try to get a little closer, Mark, if you give me... Yeah. That might help just because it's it, it has been going in and out a little bit on the on the Wi-Fi so or on the Skype. While he's adjusting that, you guys, I want to tell you something. So let me jump back in here. So hey, listen, as creatives, one of the things you need is you need to be armed with how to get your content. Like he's talking about social media, how to make your content really stick. You know, so that when you put it out there, you're going to get an emotional impact. Well, fortunately, I'm holding in my hands, I'm not going to redo this whole thing, but this is from our interview the other day with Chris Burkhardt. He gave seven tips for creating emotionally impactful images. And uh, um, hang on a second here, reconnecting, there we go. So. Hold on a second, you guys. I gotta reconnect our guest. And there he is coming back. Okay, so we lost him. And if you bear with me for a second, we'll get him back again. The comment, okay? There we go. Okay. Here he comes. Anyway, uh, can you hear me? So how is this? Is it that's, better? Yeah, I think yeah. that's better. Okay, good. I'm just telling him about how to get this. Jared will send you a link. This is the seven points you need to have in a photograph to give it emotional impact. And real briefly, you want to have a vision. You want to start off with what you envision for this photograph. When you go out and capture it, you want to be prepared. You want to be willing to evolve and look for a better image if you come across it. And the key thing that he said, you have to always ask yourself this question, what's the story? What am I trying to tell people? 
Now, remember, he's got 3.5 million followers on Instagram. That's not the only metric because the guy's so successful in many other ways. But he's creating content that people are very interested in. And then he loves silhouettes for lots of different reasons. And I think they're brilliant. You see examples of his. He shoots in the golden hours a lot, which is, you know, that 30 minutes before sunrise, 30 minutes after sunrise, 30 minutes before sunset, 30 minutes after sunset, beautiful light, very flattering, gorgeous, warm light. And then the last, second to the last thing he says, shoot images that the viewer can insert themselves into. He tells you how to do that. I'm not going to tell you right now. And finally, he says, try to create a timeless photograph. This is really good advice. Jared will put the link. It's already in there. Download it, read it, and start using it to create even better content. So back to Manuel. Okay, I think we're good and connected okay, there. Okay, how's that? That's good. Let me we, know, Mark, if the audio is better now. It sounds better. I think we're we're in better shape. So you were tearing okay. along telling us what we could do. I think the second thing or third thing you were on here. Yeah, I was talking about 1990 and going back to that era. And That's I want everybody right. to be grateful about uh, and look at the positivity of this whole thing and the silver linings within it. Right. So right now, uh, what's happening at this moment? I am on Facebook Live talking to my people. And at the same time, I am on YouTube Live uh, in the middle of a quarantine. Uh, talking to Mark Silver and talking about how to help you guys be successful in this era. Right. This was not possible in 1990. It was not possible, all right? We didn't have any of this technology uh, and we didn't have social media. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Facebook. We didn't have none of this stuff to communicate to the world. Imagine COVID-19 in the 1990, 1995 era. It would be a very, very difficult era. Yeah, so we all we would have, we have a three-step formula right now, right? So number one, get government relief, get help, all right? Focus on doing whatever you need to do to get some help so you can stay alive, so you can pay your bills, so you can stay alive and survive. Number two, you want to build audiences. Right now, this is an opportunity for audience building. It's not an opportunity for selling. It really is not a market to sell, all right? Now, there is selling happening. I am selling. I have a, a marketing agency called Attention Grabbing Me. Yeah, which stands for, uh, it's AGM, stands for Attention Grabbing Media. That's what we do. We capture attention and we are selling and we're doing quite well. Actually, in the month of March, which is in the midst of the entire drama of the COVID-19 world, we had one of our highest ever months in my company called Natural Slim, which is, we have a supplement business that uh, you you have talked to my dad before, Mark. So yeah. you know that we, we, we're similar. We're educators on the subject of health and metabolism. We have a sub brand and we service the latin community well we are getting numbers right now that we only dreamed about and in, in terms of attention we only dreamed about them yeah so um that we are we're basically focusing our strategy right now around audience building and providing value during these very difficult times so we can give people stability in regards to as, as to what's going on so what a great opportunity for a photographer to start becoming omnipresent and showing the world what their skill is because COVID-19 does not stop you from being a photographer. It stops you from selling your services, but it doesn't stop you from actually performing your art. That's right. And if you are binge watching on shows and you're just going out over Game of Thrones and House of Cards and Walking Dead and wasting your time, that, that's a different story. But this is a great time for you to explore your abilities and get yourself to the next level. Audience building, guess what? You have Wi-Fi signal, you have internet, you have the internet to be able to send your message across platforms as much as you want. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram TV, stories on Instagram, stories on Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, um, TikTok. All these places are distribution channels that our ancestors never even dreamed about having. They just didn't have access to any of this stuff. And we get to be in a quarantine with a connection to the world. We are not stopping socializing. We're doing social distancing, but we have replaced it with social media. So what right. a great opportunity for you to 
jump into the social media era and really go heavy at number one, improving your skill. Number two, telling your story. Number three, sharing your talent with the world. Number four, teaching, educating, showing people how they themselves can make this particular skill better because you have that ability. What a great opportunity. As you build audiences, then you can actually focus on a marketing strategy. That's why I actually put together seven things that you need to do, seven exact things, all right? And I can go over that with you guys if you want, Mark. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I have a, you want, would you like me to go over these three things? I, seven I things. do, yeah. I want to actually chime in for one second here and mention or have you mention you have a pretty amazing scholarship. I told all these guys you were going to be giving something away. And could you tell them about the scholarship that you're offering? Yeah, so before I jump into that, if you guys are, are joining in late on Facebook, uh, there's a link uh, pinned in the comments and you can go and join the interview that I'm having right now with uh, the one and only Mark Silver, all right? I'm on a YouTube live. Uh, so awesome. uh, Mark, I um, when this whole thing uh, evolved and um, I have uh, two things in my, in my business model. Uh, I do marketing services which is delivered by my agency. I have 60 staff and we perform services, social media marketing, um, e-commerce, uh, building channels and uh, messenger, for example, and lead generation and all those things. Strategies, marketing strategies. That's one side of the things that I do. And the other side is that I sell digital training, digital program. And I have been very successful doing that. I have been getting on stages uh, for, for many years now. Um, it feels like 20 years, it's been only three years, but for the last three years, I have been getting on stages, talking to the world. I get on, on bigger stages, smaller stages, and I explain to people about the opportunities. I put together a training um, called the Facebook Masters in which I teach people about how to be experts in the subject of marketing themselves. And this is something applicable to anybody that wants to be an influencer, an artist, somebody that wants to understand marketing on these platforms, how to use Facebook correctly, somebody that wants to understand how to find an audience, how to build lead generation funnels, all those things that we need to be successful. Because one thing is to be an artist, another thing is to be a marketer, business person. Two separate subjects. I see yeah. a, lot, a lot of uh, artists out there, Mark, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of them that are highly, highly, highly talented. And they're not able to monetize because they don't know how to market. They don't know how to get the, the the world to see them and and that's what i like to do i like to teach people about marketing how do you capture the attention and then monetize it because capturing attention is not enough you need to know how to monetize it so i put together uh, a course uh which i sold for two thousand dollars to thousands of people over the last two years and it has been very successful uh when this whole thing uh, started exploding i decided to make um make it my own personal obsession and go into a humanitarian campaign and help the world by providing uh, a lot of value myself and using my superpower, which I think is uh, what we all should do. What is your superpower? What is your skill? You need to give it to the world right now because the world right now needs to get stronger with people that are talented and united and we work together to get ourselves out of it. So I, instead of uh, being selfish about it and just uh, going to bed knowing that I have the ability to help businesses survive this very difficult era, uh, I decided to open up my closed doors and I gave access to people. And I have gotten over 8,000 people have signed up to my scholarship right now, uh, which has been incredible. Uh, people are all over the place are, ta are talking about the program. Uh, they're uh, getting great results. I basically put three rules in place, three requirements. Uh, number one, I give access to the course for free. Uh, number one, they need to um, help me stay active. They need to stay active on the program. It is a uh, 190 lessons, 12 modules. It's a pretty big program. Uh, takes them step by step. So I require that they stay active. Number one. Number two. I require that they help me spread the word and help me share the message with their friends and family, post on social media, etc. And number three, I require a video testimonial for them uh, that it actually asks 60 days after they sign up. Uh, and there's no offers, upsells, no cross sells, no one-time offers, no customer journey down sales, none of that stuff. Uh, it's literally just pure value, doesn't require a credit card, nothing. So I put this together, um, it's been helping a lot of people. Uh, and I believe that a photographer that understands these platforms really well 
we'll be able to get his message out there more. So if anybody wants to get access to that, they can go to manuelsuarez.com forward slash expansion. And you can probably put it in the comments uh, there. Yeah, Jared, um, we'll put that in there. Yeah, so manuelsuarez.com forward slash expansion. Manuelsuarez.com, which is A M A N U E L S U A R E Z, as in zebra, dot com forward slash expansion. And they will be redirected to our page in which I talk about what the, the course is and what is the humanitarian mission uh, due to the COVID 19 thing. And um, I open up my doors that are usually closed uh, for people to come and learn about these platforms. Well, thank you. know, I have to thank you for your generosity because we have our very own Brian Meek, our marketing manager, is taking the course right now. He's on the, I believe he's on here. Maybe you could leave your own testimonial. We're taking care of both, all actually all three things right now. So we're, we're helping you oh, get it great. out to other people. We're going to give a testimonial and we're going to show you the results too because, hey, look, you guys. That's great. Two thousand dollars. He's not kidding. This isn't a. This is no gimmick here. There's no gimmick. There's no side secret. Whatever. You're not going to get asked for anything else. This is a pure gift because something that, that Lauren said to me, one of your top guys. He said, "Look, who's going to pull us out of this slump? Unfortunately, it's not the government right now, guys. You know, we we do have the programs, but." It's going to be us marketing and marketing ourselves and generating our own economy. And this is probably the, one of the biggest lessons we're all learning out of all this. We have to generate our own economy. This is the this is the real deal. We have all the tools in front of us, just like what Chick is doing. You know, what did you say? Twenty-one days in a row on Facebook Live. I I'm, I could rival yeah, him. Yesterday think, was day number twenty-one. We've almost done that. You guys yeah. have been tuning Yesterday in with me. Yesterday was day number 21. Okay. I don't know if we've hit 21, but we've hit, yeah. uh, we're, we're getting close to him because you guys have seen me on YouTube live every single day. I'm doing it exactly for the same reason, which is I have to get out what I know to you and bring you amazing people who know what they know. So this is, this is how we add value to the world. So we've got the link Absolutely. in there. Yep, the link is in there. You guys can afterwards, don't do it right now, but click on it. We'll make sure you get it in any case. Sign up for that and definitely do the course. Okay, so I interrupted you a minute yeah, it's ago. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be open until April 30th. So just so they know, April 30th, okay. and then we go back to selling it. Mm -hmm. Well, don't waste any time. Get on it today for sure. So that's his scholarship. That's pretty amazing. And you guys who have joined in here are really lucky for doing that. So tell us the rest. I interrupted you. You were going through uh, some key points that we need to be working on. Yeah, so so there's um, going back for anybody that has joined late, right? For, I, and I believe this applies to anybody. My audience, you guys that are here watching on Facebook, um, people that are on YouTube that don't know me, photographers, uh, there, there's a free step plan right and and that step is uh th those three steps are number one you want to be able to take advantage of one of the relief programs and figure out how you can qualify and get some help so you can have that wherewithal so so you can survive during these tough times until the economy gets back and you're able to release all your services number two you need to focus on audience building number three you need to focus on um as you build audiences you need to become an expert on the subject of marketing so you can do lead generation and uh that leads me i, I want to segue into seven steps which are more complete of these three things that um that are explained in detail now which i called it my covid19 survival battle plan that's what i called it all right it's my survival battle plan and this this applies 100 percent to you as an artist as a photographer as a business owner as a solopreneur no matter what this is what you need to do you want to number one communicate through omnipresence. Uh, what does that mean, omnipresence? It means that you want to be as many places as possible at the same time. We we would known for years and uh, and religion that God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. God, God is supposed to know uh, every single aspect of what we do every single day across the entire planet, and that's that's a commonly held belief. No matter what you believe, if you're a religious person, 
Generally, that is the belief that we have across religion, omnipresence. God is everywhere. What I like to tell uh, people is that you need to accomplish a God-like phenomenon on social media. You need to be everywhere. If somebody opens up LinkedIn, they need to see you. If they open up Facebook, they should be seeing you there. If you um, are on YouTube Live, then you have another chance, like Mark right now, having people seeing you uh, on Instagram, on stories. You need to be everywhere, in as many places as possible. So people sometimes ask me, Mark, like, what, how much should I do? Well, the answer is always uh, with a question. And I always say to them, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to get there? Do you, do you really, 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 really want to capture audiences and be able to grow your business and spread your message? How bad do you want to get there? How big are your goals? And, and it really does depend on that. If your goals are really massive, then you got to know that you can put the energy behind it. It's like it's going to go in direct relation to how much you put out there, right? You're not going to grow more than the energy that you create. So if you create a lot of energy in this area and if you're good at it, which photographers, you guys are doing this as a job. If you guys are experts in this field, you're proud of your work. You are very perfectionist about your ability and your skill. So you got to get it out there. Because there's a lot of people out there that could benefit from your knowledge. So you want to communicate through omnipresent. The other thing that I'm doing that I have applied successfully, because like I said, I'm not just preaching here, uh, guys. I'm not talking out of, a, out of a, uh, a dream or whatever I think is right to do in this era. I'm talking about things that I have been walking myself. I don't generally talk about things unless I have traveled the road myself. So I have been communicating with Omnipresence. If you check me out on social media, my YouTube channel, Manuel Suarez, uh, my Instagram, Mr. Manuel Suarez, LinkedIn, Facebook, Manuel Suarez, you check me out, you're gonna see that I am walking that talk every day. And whatever you open, you're gonna probably see me if you start following me. So this is important. Also, my father, who has a, a, a really big YouTube channel, we have 2.4, 2.4 million subscribers at this point, uh, Dr. Eric Burke, who has a bigger channel with over 3 million people. Um, like I said, Chick Corea, we are doing this every day. This, this is the message. This is what I'm pushing. I tell people, look, if you want to make it, you got to do this. If you want to survive, you, you got to do this. You got to communicate omnipresent and you got to be aggressive and you got to provide that particular aspect of your beingness, your being to the world. So number one, communicate omnipresent. So if you handle that point, the rest will stop falling in place. And that is something that you guys have to get used to because sometimes people are like, well, I don't think I should be talking this much. My neighbor already told me that uh, they've been seeing me too much on social media and I should quiet down. And my wife doesn't like the way my hair looks or whatever it is, right? You gotta get through that and just do it and just do it as much as possible and just get in that in a role. And the first six months, the first year are, are really about you getting used to your own voice. But what a better opportunity in a quarantine era to get started right now. Point number two out of the seven with reality. I, I like uh, brands and people to understand that you don't want to pretend like nothing is going on because you're going to become unreal to people. You don't want to become unreal. You want to talk to them. Hey, this is what's going on. I know this is how I can help you. Let's provide value to them based on the talk with reality. Point number three is be a stabilizing influence. Be somebody that is actually there to help them look at mark right mark is an example he's there myself we're examples we're here trying to show people a roadmap to survive and to get through this together to be better to do better it's a roadmap it's a path it's not oh my god look at what the media said oh we got the highest ever deaths uh 24 hours later oh my god let's talk about death let's talk about non-survival things oh yeah doom and gloom no we're talking about hey the world is dealing with this how about if we do this so we can put our own little piece to make things better around ourselves? So you want to be a stabilizing influence to people and just contribute your own personality. If you're going to be a Debbie Downer, if you're going to be a negative person, then this is not for you. Artists is not for you. You shouldn't even be doing this, right? But if you have the willingness to put your heart and soul into being a better person to the world, then this is for you. This is a platform for you to get your message out there. Wow. I'm lucky that I have a, a little um, umbrella over me, guys, because it started raining over here, and MacBooks are not waterproof yet, <laughs> yeah. right? Not yet. That's good that you're you got um, it. So, 
Mark, you you asked me to go inside, but I highly, highly avoid that because there's children running all over the sure. place, making noises, banging things. And as much as I try to control them, Mark, I have not been able to. If you have some tips for me, because I know you have children too, you got to share them with me because Wait, I say, you guys be patient be until they grow up. I'm on a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so They're easier out, when right? they grow up. Hey, you know, <laughs> right. you know. Okay. But we we're, right, so, we love hearing the rain right. because we all need rain anyway. So it's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> okay. So number four, you want to provide value, right? Uh, you want to do something like what we're doing right now. We're providing value. We're giving you some stability, some information. Uh, look at me. I got a humanitarian campaign. I have probably uh, sacrificed a few hundred thousand dollars by now by open up, opening up my humanitarian program. Um, who's going to buy a $2,000 program when... It's available for free. Believe it or not, I've had a few people buy it, uh, and I have felt bad about it, and I have reached out, and I had said that uh, I said to them that the program was open for free because of the humanitarian mission because I didn't want them to find out. Uh, I got to purchase it for $2,000, and I'm like, oh, my God. Can somebody reach out and refund and explain why this is not open for selling? Uh, the uh, sales page was open, and we have people open it. So I'm providing value uh to to the people that follow me to my audiences because i believe that's my superpower so you got to figure out what is your and that's a question for you guys to all to ponder right what is your superpower what is your super skill how can you help are you great at interviewing people are you great at uh, being a photographer do you have a special unique skill that most of the people out there would love to have but they don't that. have what did you I love that, that? Right? Why don't you just go ahead and talk about that and teach that? So you got to figure it out. It's like you go out there and you think about it. You don't have to have an answer right now. And if you do, uh, if you guys are interested, you, you should go ahead and comment on the uh, on the uh, on the live and let me know what they are, so I can see some of your responses. Uh, but generally, uh, you might have to do some thinking about this. What is your super skill that you know that you're always proud about? Uh, talking uh, they, on dinners uh, with friends on parties on activity you can't stop thinking about it there's a button that you cannot shut down like my superpower is marketing I cannot be quiet on the subject I am I can talk marketing all day long I can talk about opportunities and marketing all day long that is my superpower people pay me a lot of money to get a little bit of what's in here uh, I get a lot of consulting fees I get a lot of people that want me to have a seat on their table I mean I have I have had seats on tables of people that I have never dreamed about, right? Like incredible people. I mean, let me give you an example. Uh, my God, uh, Bart Simpson, Nancy Cartwright. Uh, I <laughs> get to sit down with and talk and talk marketing. I mean, th this lady was a big part of raising me because I used to watch the Simpsons growing up, right? So, and now I get to sit down with her to talk about marketing and help her with strategies. How incredible is that, right? Uh, so I have a lot of people like that that value my superpower and they want to get it because I can't turn it off. I don't have a shot of valve on that particular thing. So you, as a photographer, as an artist, you need to figure out what that is. And if you figure that out, you are way ahead of the game, probably better than most people out there are. Okay, so we're almost done with this, with this section right here and then we can get into any questions if you like, Mark. Yeah, um, well, I want to... Then we I have... Wanna... Then, then we, you know what kind of adding to what you just said you know when you figure out what you are really good at the thing you want to do is team up with somebody else who's like manuel who's really good at what you need you know you complement each other it's like a good relationship it's not that both parties are exactly the same that's not necessarily a good relationship it's where they complement each other you know i mean my wife does things i cannot do and I do things she doesn't want to do, but together we really complement each other. And so this is this is the other thing about building your own strength is to go, okay, I'm really good at, at you know creating images, creating photographs, but I don't know much about marketing. Okay, team up with Manuel who has that superpower, and together, you know, we we create it, we create this synergy. And that's really important because you know what my passion is. I mean, if you've been watching my channel, I'm passionate about creativity. This is why I talk about photography. It's just one facet of creativity. I've talked to Nancy Cartwright is in my book, Create, and I talked to her 
because I wanted to get inside her mindset. How did she become such an amazing creative? And so my passion is finding that and bringing it to you. So that's just another thing. We create this synergy and that's really what we're doing with this channel too. We're bringing people together from all over the world who want to live and expand and, and, and flourish right now. So should we take some questions now, Manuel? Well, yeah, let me just finish the, uh, cause I, I talked about yeah, the yeah. Oh, sorry. Steps, I, I interrupted uh, you seven again. steps on this COVID-19 yeah. battle plan. Uh, almost, I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. It's, it's, it's good. I, I talk a lot. You have to interrupt me, Mark, or you're, okay. you're not going to be able to get a word in. It's, it's, it's a problem that I've had my whole life. You must interrupt me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, Number five is building audiences. We talked about that briefly. So if you grab all those things, omnipresence, talk with reality, if you are a stabilizing influence, if you provide value, you know what's going to happen? You're going to build audiences. And the great news is that you don't have to invest a penny on any of this. As long as you have a cell phone payment and you have data and you have Wi-Fi, you're good to go. You can just get out there and just go. So the excuse of I don't have any money for advertising it doesn't belong here yet because we have platforms that we can use for free. You can just use them. And at, and at the beginning, I highly recommend that you don't start looking at how many views and how many posts, likes, and, and comments. It grows with time. time. So if you have to do 158 videos that have one view, you do 158 videos with one view, and you don't worry about it. That's just part of the game. It's all part of it. So you want to just keep on building, building those audiences. Number six, this is where my scholarship belongs because I am asking people to become marketing experts. Uh, why, is it that, why is it that important? Hey, if you're a photographer, well, unless you are on a humanitarian mission and you're not interested in monetizing anything for the rest of your life, which most of you guys are interested in monetizing, then you need, you need to know how to market yourself. So you gotta be a marketing expert or, or like Mark said, find that team member that can complement that weakness because sometimes you know like if you look at my dad's example my dad um, has no clue how I, I do social media marketing now he does because we've been working together for many years but he found a way to complement that weakness by bringing me in so you gotta find out if you can have one person that can be passionate in the subject of marketing and bring that person in to help you spread your message far and wide. Because once you start building audiences, you need to now start scaling that and you need to start monetizing that. And on the COVID-19 world, and this is the final point, right? You can sell to your best audiences. So once you become a marketing expert, you can sell to people that are on your list your audiences, people that watch your videos, that consume your content, that have joined your newsletter, that um, have joined your messenger channel, that whatever it is that you have a, a line with, these are the ones that you can monetize. COVID-19 is not an era for you to sell upfront and meet somebody and say, hey, my name is Mark Silber and here's an offer. That's not the world we live Absolutely in right now. Not. People are gonna buy things from you if you have built a relationship with them. Money's there. There's money in the economy. There's more coming right now with this whole like CARES Act and everything. People do have money, but they're gonna give that money only to people that they have managed to build relationships with. If you don't have a relationship with somebody, I'm sorry, you have not earned the right to offer them something. You will not be able to make it profitable. So you gotta go down this path with this battle plan and once you have enough audiences, that's where the monetization begins because now you have enough audiences to be able to sell things to. That's battle plan. That's what I recommend for all of you guys photographers. And I'll hand it over to you, Mark, if you have questions for well, us to cover. I, yeah, you've been really thorough. Um, and that is an incredible battle plan. So, you know, you guys, this video is going to be back up tomorrow. So, you, you know, there's a lot of information here. Watch it again. Send it to your friends. Make sure you're you're you know you're doing exactly what he said, which is be generous in getting information out. Well, we have one here, Paul. You've been you've been active over here. I've been kind of seeing out of the corner of my eye. You've been adding a lot of stuff here. But the question is, does your course offer a business model for sales over the internet? 
does it absolutely offer? yeah it's a it's a marketing course um i teach people how i've been able to generate hundreds of millions of dollars in yes okay that's a simple answer if you guys have any other questions you know i think manuel you did such a good job at at explaining everything in that seven step battle plan is that written somewhere that we could like get a download or a place a res handy resource for that i can get you the, video? the uh let you just watch the video uh yeah. i can have uh i have over here and i can give this to you i believe that over here it allows me to um you know, Probably you can send it this. to me. We'll put it in the uh, description for the the video itself. And yeah, uh, I can I can uh, we can create it. We can create a download link for it, and on the uh, okay. uh, on the replay of this video, they'll have it there, so they can download it. We'll give them access to it. Awesome. Listen, you guys, this is good advice. This is not just good advice. This is how we all need to not only thrive for ourselves, but as members of the community. You know, a rising tide floats all the boats. You've heard that? The rising tide floats all boats, which means, you know, we're not in it just for ourselves. If we can help rise the tide, if we can help improve things, it's going to improve everyone in the community. And this is, this is how life works. We're interconnected here. We really, one thing that this virus is teaching us is that we're interconnected. I mean, there is a, there is a message in here that we can't just, you know, do things for ourselves. We have to care about other people. And this is what we're actually learning this lesson. And maybe humanity needed to learn this lesson because, you know, from this, we can actually come emerge stronger, which is giving more, being more caring, being more aware of other people. And these are good messages. Just as you said, there is a silver lining here. So. But to those who take advantage of it now and begin, as Manuel suggests, reaching out into your community. And you can help me because the more people we have on our platform watching these shows, the more people who are paying attention to Manuel, the more people who are going to learn and prosper during this time period. Even if it's because you have learned something new and you can take it back and put it in your community, you know, that's an asset. So here is a, here's a question from Rachel. How uh, can I, as a photographer, get known in my area? I don't sell online an online product. So she's in, a, hmm. she's in okay. the Seattle area. So how can she help get to be known just in that geographic area if she's not selling something online? So, uh, what the uh, Rachel, I don't know if she saw the entire interview, uh, but I, I was not talking from the viewpoint of somebody that has an online uh, store. I was talking to a photographer that wants to sell um, gigs and wants to be able to get hired for events and, and get a reputation. Uh, that's what I was uh, referring to. Now, if you have an online, then that's even better because you can monetize online. But Rachel, uh, what you can do um, is that you have to just apply this formula. You got to be really, really omnipresent. And why focus on a geographic location only when Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube and all these places allow you to be everywhere? You don't have to segment. You don't have to do that. Now, if you become a marketing expert, which is where, what I recommend that you guys do, all of you, then you're going to learn that advertising is your next level up. Advertising is after you figure out your content strategy and you're putting out your message out there and you're omnipresent and you're everywhere and you're providing value and you're doing all those things that I recommend, then with advertising, with a budget, you can micro-target your geographic area and you can target anything. Like on Facebook advertising, on Instagram, the world is incredible. The advertising world is quite something there. So you can actually grab a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, and you can advertise with a video, with an image, with some kind of powerful message, and invite people to follow you, to connect with you, to give you their identity numbers and emails. You gotta learn it. Right. For example, there's a one of I have twelve modules on my course. 
which is open right now. Uh, again, we're not selling you anything, right? There's 12 modules on my course, and one of those modules, uh, it's um, module six. It's all about building audiences. And module seven, uh, I'm talking about advertising tools, all right? And module seven is going to teach you how to build an ad from beginning to, en to end in which you can generate a lead that you can eventually get on the phone or text or email so you can sell them something. I'm going to show you how to do lead generation so you can actually learn uh, on the program how to do targeting so you can also find out, okay, so if you live on the city of Clearwater, which, are, which is where I live right now, if you become a marketing expert, which is not complicated, if you learn how to market, how to advertise, you don't have to invest a single penny outside Clearwater. You can invest your advertising dollars getting known in the Clearwater area. So whatever city you live in, you can target that city only. You can even target like five blocks around your house. All of it is possible uh, once you learn how to do this uh, on the Facebook advertising world. That's for sure. Well, listen, Manuel, this has been amazing. We've, we've already been on for an hour, so we're going to wrap up. Is there any final tip you want to leave uh, these guys with as far as what they ought to do right now and how they ought to energize their career? What's, what, yeah, what's the number make sure, one Make sure that you... I would say make sure that you're not wasting your time. Uh, take advantage of this time uh, right now to uh, improve your skill and to build a strategy because it's not going to be like that for long. Um, and at some point, you're going to be allowed to get out and get back to normal operation and get inside a Starbucks and go to a party. All of that is going to happen. And even hug right people now it's again, not. Right? And even hug people. Oh, my God. It's so awkward right now. Like Isn't it you, weird? you see people. It's super weird. Like, I mean, for example, uh, Chick, going back to the example of Chick Corea, uh, um, yesterday we were at his office, at his studio, uh, because um, everybody's wearing masks, by the way. Like, I did it. If you check out my Instagram story, uh, I show you a little bit behind the scenes uh, on that. We are wearing, it's about five of us. We're keeping six feet apart. Uh, we're wearing masks. Uh, so we're, we're keeping the CDC regulations in place. But, you know, we want to hug each other, man. We did a, a super oh, yeah. cool event. We want to just hug. Ow, oh, congrats. High five. We can't even high five. <laughs> air five. It's horrible, right? Yeah, well, air five, right? <laughs> air um, five. But it's going to pass. It, it's it it's going to pass. pass. And, and I say that you, you need to get ready for it. That's all. Like right now, it's not a time to waste time. Look at me. Like look at Mark, right? We're not wasting time. We're working. We're I spreading mean, our message. Harder We're than sharing. I, I'm working harder than I have all year. It's Absolutely. it's amazing. Well, Manuel, well, thank exactly. you. Exactly, we can stay focused. Yeah, thank you again for joining us and for your generosity. And just in case it isn't clear to everybody, because I saw some comments about how much does it cost. Here's how much it costs. Can you see this? You're never going to see this anywhere else. And this isn't a gimmick number. This is a, a scholarship. You know, it's a hundred percent scholarship. It doesn't cost you anything. Take advantage of it. Put it to use because he's giving you something of incredible value. And I know this for a fact because we're doing it here at the studio. So, Manuel, again, thank you so much. I'm going to ping you really soon. Stand by. So I'm going to, if, if I can Skype you in a few minutes, I got a couple of ideas I want to run by you. Oh, so okay. enjoy Sounds the good, day, Mark. enjoy the rain, and thanks again for joining us. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening, guys. Yeah. And you guys. OK, listen, that was pretty amazing. Here's the deal. We've already been on this campaign, as you know, in uh, AYP. That's why I'm doing these daily broadcasts. We have an incredible guest coming up on Tuesday. Felix is going to explain to you lighting. He is amazing. He has done such a... <laughs> Some incredible behind the scenes stuff. I don't even know if I can tell you, but he focuses on um, celebrity portraiture. He's going to debunk and demythicize lighting and show you how easy it is. We all need a little bit more of that. Tuesday, that's coming up. Between now and then, there's probably going to be a few surprises. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing over the weekend, but I think I'm creating a new inspirational film. I uh, hope to put that out on Sunday. That's a good day. That's Easter. So I've got to get busy on that. Um, listen to you guys. I really need your help. Okay. 
very, very sincere request. I need you to get on your social media. I need you to talk to your friends. I need you to tell them about what we're doing here with AYP Live and have them join us. This is really important. I'm reading your comments. People are saying this is the best content on YouTube. This is the most invaluable stuff. You're not going to get exposed to people like Ed Kashi, a National Geographic, New York Times photographer. The guy has done so many things. And you, you spend an hour with him. Or Chris Burkhart, or Bob Holmes, or Dan Milner, or you know all these other guests that I have coming up. But we need a much, much bigger audience, and I need your help to do that. Please, okay? This is beyond the normal, you know, share, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm talking to you deeply here, okay? We need to 10x this audience immediately, and I, the only way we can do that is with your help, okay? Please, thank you. Uh, definitely subscribe. Leave your comments. This video will be up tomorrow at 11 a.m. And get busy. <laughs> Do, do what he said. Do those seven, those seven points in his battle plan. Watch the video again so you know what they are. Sign up for his course. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me and us. And we'll see you again real soon.